Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make three different DIYs for a traveler's notebook and this video was sponsored by Storyblocks. The first thing we're going to make is a divider. You can use it to spice up your setup or to show some memories like pictures and quotes, anything you want to put in there. The second DIY is a pocket and you can put everything in there, stickers, notes, scrap paper or anything else you want to store in your traveler's notebook. The last thing we're going to make are those tabs at the top. I have one for the month and one for the day, so I can easily jump to the day or the month. I hope you have fun with the video and I know that I haven't been on YouTube for a while or in social media in general, but I had to move countries. So the last weeks have been a bit overwhelming, but I'm slowly settling in. And I'm really looking forward to the next year and to more content. But now I'm going to tell you more about the Storyblocks website and how to use it for the DIYs. Storyblocks is a website for royalty-free photos, vectors, icons and anything you can think of. They were kind enough to give away 7 day free trials so you can try it out and access the whole library. All you have to do is to click in the link in the description box down below to start downloading and get started today. For two of the DIYs we're going to need some patterns and I found some awesome one story blocks. So they have a variety of different colors and styles and I decided to use some patterns for my DIYs. I went for a marble pattern for the pocket and I'm going to link every single picture I used in the description box down below so you can easily download it and use it as well. For the divider I decided to use a rose pattern. Even though I want to keep it pretty simple for December, I think the red and the green are kind of Christmassy. You're going to need a laminator, a silhouette portrait or any other cutting machine or just scissors, whatever you have. Then you need your notebook. I have my traveler's notebook. I'm going to link it down below. A pen and a pencil and a ruler and of course the royalty free images you chose. The first DIY is going to be the pocket. I decided to print it onto cardstock paper. I decided to print it on one side of the paper. The measurements I'm going to give you are for an A6 folder. So first of all you have to measure out 23 by 21 centimeters and then you just need to cut it out with scissors or a cutting machine. Next up we're going to measure 1 centimeter on each side of the wider side of the paper and 6.1 centimeter on the bottom of the shorter side of the paper. And then we need to make a diagonal line where the two lines are meeting each other. You're going to see what I mean by this in a second. Then you just need to cut the bottom part where the pocket is going to be and then we just need to fold it over. I'm going to use a, like a spatula for it. After this we're going to fold it back and mark where the pocket is going to meet the sides. It's hard to explain everything, I think you can see it better. We're going to make another diagonal line over this mark. After cutting this out we're going to fold the sides over. Before we're going to glue everything together, we're going to mark the middle of the page on top and bottom of the paper because we're going to make a slit at the pocket. I decided to measure 1.5 from the middle of the paper and then I just need to cut out the V. To make the folding easier, I'm going to make a fold with the spatula in the middle of the paper and then I'm going to glue everything together with a glue stick. After gluing everything together it should look something like this and I'm going to put the measurements in the description box down below as well so you can always see what they are. Now you can put it in your traveler's notebook and start using it. 
The second DIY is for the tabs at the top of the traveler's notebook and I have a month and a day one. I think I'm going to make a few more with different topics because they're so convenient you can just go straight to the page. You can download the file with the tabs in the description box down below so make sure to have a look in there. So for the DIY you're going to need the tabs and you can either use a silhouette to cut them out or the scissors. I'm going to put a silhouette file and a normal PDF in the description box. Then you're going to need a laminator, laminating sheets and scissors and a knife. First of all we're going to place the tabs into the laminating sheets so we can then put them into the laminator. Make sure to hold on to the laminating sheet while laminating so it won't slip out. After it comes out of the laminator we just need to cut it out. The last step is to make some slits into the tabs so we can slide it on top of the page. I'm using a kitchen knife to do this, but I would recommend to use an exacto knife. Now you can put them on top of the notebook to mark the day or the month. The last DIY is a divider out of laminating sheets, so we're going to need a laminator, normal laminating sheets and laminating sheets you're going to cut into size. I have them in 10.5 by 14.9 centimeters, so it's good for an A6 one. And of course you need the pictures you want to put in there. First you're going to put the laminating sheets inside out. So the shiny sides are facing each other and the matte side is going to be outside. Then we're going to put them into the laminating sheet and I'm using my cutting mat to make sure they are straight. Make sure to leave a gap in between so you're going to have a spine in the end. Be very careful while putting the laminating sheets into the laminator because they can easily slip around. It should look something like this when they come out of the laminator and now we just need to trim off the edges around the pocket. Make sure to not cut into the pocket. You need to be very careful because otherwise it won't work. So always leave a small gap while cutting next to the pocket. One side of the larger side is going to be the top part and we need to cut into the pocket so you can put something in there. The last step is to put the pictures or memories or anything you want to put in there into the divider. And now you can slide the divider in between your notebooks. And now you can start to customize your notebook. You can put something into the pockets, you can change the pictures in the divider, you can just do whatever you like. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video and the DIYs and if you want to see something else next to the plan with me in general. I think I'm going to upload a plan with me as well, so stay tuned for that and until next time, bye!